Good morning from the Santa Cruz Mountains. Today we're going to hike what some call the greatest watering hole in all of Santa Cruz. My dad's going to come along with me. What are your thoughts on this hike? Have you ever done this before? Yes, wonderful. Come join us on this adventure. This trailhead is located at Henry Cal Redwood State Park in the Ox parking lot. To get here from Santa Cruz, you're gonna jump on Highway 9. It's gonna be on your right-hand side, and if you hit the Toll Resort, you went too far. If you're coming at it from Felton, jump on Highway 9. It's gonna be on your left-hand side, just past Toll Resort. Definitely get here early as the parking fills up really fast, and you'll see cars parked all along the side of the road for a long ways. Parking is free, and there are no dogs allowed. So this place used to be more of a secret than it is nowadays. Nowadays, a lot of people know about this place, and because of it, you get people that come in here and trash the place. So if you come in here, definitely bring your trash out. We wanna keep this as pristine as possible. So really when this watering hole is a gem is on the off season. Right now it's summer, it's gonna be busy, it's gonna be crazy. But sometimes on the other seasons, when the beaches are busy on nice days, this is when you can actually find yourself all by yourself here in the Garden of Eden. This is where the fire road gets into the train tracks and you're going to follow the train tracks all the way along here. This is Sasquatch territory. Do you have any uh, experience with Sasquatch? Just, he bit my leg once. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. On the left side is the San Lorenzo River. On the right side is the mountain and there are some crazy fallen trees. Look at these things. I'm terrified they could go at any minute. I am in true danger right now. Probably not. No danger. So from here on out, you're gonna follow the San Lorenzo River. The San Lorenzo River has a ton of history. San Lorenzo River and Valley were named in 1769 by the Portola Expedition. The rivers played a huge role in Santa Cruz's history of lime, leather, and lumber. Before the beach boardwalk that we know today, the San Lorenzo River was the center of attention. It was one of the most popular rivers in the state for fishing of steelhead trout and salmon. After a devastating flood in 1955, levees were built along the lower San Lorenzo River to prevent downtown Santa Cruz from flooding. Flooding is still a threat to this day. The river provides approximately half of the drinking water supply for Santa Cruz. And we made it to the Garden of Aden. Now there's actually a couple different ways to get here. You can start at Henry Cow Redwood State Park when the seasonal bridge is up. You can start at the Rincon Fire Road and come down, or like we did, starting at Ox road, Ox Fire Road. Uh, are you having a good time so far, sir? Great time. Nature. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go down. This is really steep to uh, the Garden of Eden, and this is the worst I've ever seen this. Uh, the rangers weren't kidding. Uh, the graffiti, the trash has really been kind of awful, so uh, <laughs> if you come out here, pick up your trash. Take care of this place. Now, admittedly, I haven't been down here in a couple of years, and I have heard that this is eroded even more, and it looks to be that way. I'm wearing sandals, but I would advise wearing shoes if you come out here to come down this section. So here's kind of what it looks like steep wise. On a scale of 0 to 10, how steep would you rate this down? Oh, it's pretty steep. I'd give it at least a 6. You got that from us, a 6. It does. The roots do make it easier and the uh, graffiti is really sickening. This really is just a beautiful, breathtaking short hike. Even though this place is awesome and it's a great place to come, I've been coming here my whole life. Um, people do get injured here. We were talking to the rangers and they said that 12 people one year had to get airlifted out of here. Personally, I definitely would just say don't cliff jump or anything like that here. I was just reading a story about a kid that cliff jumped here and he died. So just enjoy the swimming hole. Just swim, don't jump. I just want to interrupt this video really quick to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, apparently trash, graffiti, uh, people drinking and being crazy down here is a massive problem. Bring a trash bag, pick up trash. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, share the video, and now back to the adventure. And here it is. We've made it to the Garden of Eden. There's actually water holes all along this section here. And once again, don't jump off the cliffs, just enjoy the water, don't do anything dangerous, stay safe. Pick up your trash and don't spray paint. We've been thanking these guys all morning. A big thanks to the rangers and volunteers that are out here picking up trash and trying to clean this place up. T-Mobile is our cell phone carrier and reception was in and out the whole hike. There are no bathrooms at the trailhead. And there's no trash cans either, so that's why it's real big to make sure you pack it in, pack it out. And that's gonna do it for this adventure. Uh, any last words, Dan? It's a fun place to be. And with that being said, now go have an adventure of your own. I actually wanted to leave you with uh, one little story. 
I was hiking the other day and there was a lost hiker on the other side of the uh, riverbank and there was no boats, no bridge to get over and he yells over at me, how do I get to the other side? And I told him, you already are on the other side.